good afternoon today we are discussing about operational amplifiers in analog devices an operational amplifier or op amp is a voltage amplifier designed to use it to external feedback components such as capacitors or inductors between input and output terminals it is a high gain electronic voltage amplifier with a differential input and usually single ended output Operational amplifiers are among most widely used in electronic devices today, being used in vast variety of consumer and industrial and scientific devices. It is namely developed to perform automatic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and differentiation. It is also used for amplifiers, buffers, comparators, filters, etc. it can be implemented with a simple external circuits this is the pin configuration of ic741 it can be eight pins first one is null offset voltage second one is inverting terminal third one is non inverting terminal fourth one is minus vcc fifth one is offset null sixth one is output seventh one is plus vcc eighth one is no connection Here the symbol representing shown here the pin configuration. V in plus means non-inverting terminal. V in minus is inverting input terminal, and plus VCC is represented by VCC or VDD, and minus VCC is represented by V and VSS. An operational amplifier has five terminals: positive power supply, negative power supply, ground. non inverting input terminal inputting input terminal and output generally these terminals are namely as shown below positive ground terminals may be omitted from symbol of single supply op amps an operational amplifier amplifies the difference between voltage between the non inverting input terminal and inverting input terminal its output voltage is given by an equation 1 shown here which indicates that the output is is in same phase as plus v in and opposite phase in minus v in here the v output voltage is equal to gain into a here he is gain gain into input voltage v plus 2 minus of input voltage negative shown in the equation 1 here the characteristics of operation it is also known as ideal characteristics infinite infinite input voltage gain or infinite open loop gain here gain is the ratio of output voltage to input voltage infinite input impedance or in is always infinite zero input offset voltage infinite output voltage infinite bandwidth with zero phase shift and infinite screw rate zero output impedance and infinite output current range here the noise is zero to show the block diagram of operational amplifier previously we are discussing about pin configuration and we are discussing block diagram of operational amplifier here the input terminals are representing here input inverting terminal and non inverting input terminal the first stage is input stage and comes after intermediate stage and level shifting stage Finally, we get output stage. The inverting and input in, inverting and non-inverting inputs are provided to the input stage, which is dual input balanced output differential amplifier. The voltage gain required for the amplifier is provided in this stage along with the input resistance of the operational amplifier. The output of initial stage is given to intermediate stage, which is driven by the output of the input stage in this stage direct coupling is used which makes the dc voltage at the output of the intermediate stage above the ground potential that means zero value therefore the dc value as its output must be shifted down to zero volts because of ground potential with respect to ground for this the level shift stage is used to usually an emitter follower that means current source is always constant is up the level shift signal when is given to output stage whereas a push pull amplifier increases corresponding output voltage is also increases 
and current supplying capability of the operational amplifier. Here the amplifier can be classified into two types inverting amplifier and non-inverting amplifier. Here we are discussing inverting amplifier an operational amplifier which is designed to produce output without 180 degrees out of phase with applied input signal is called inverting terminal it is indicated by minus indication therefore in case of inverting amplifier if the input signal is positive we get an output of negative phase and vice versa suppose we give an input signal as negative potential and we get output as positive vice versa the inverting operational amplifier is the simplest and most extensively used configuration of operational amplifier the closed loop gain of inverting amplifier is given by minus r2 by r1 here the inverting terminal given by the input signal and another input terminal non inverting terminal is connected to ground potential as shown in the figure and another classification of amplifier is non inverting amplifier this type of operational amplifier in which the input signal and the amplified output is similarly phase in that means 0 degrees or 360 degrees both are in same phase that's why it is called non inverting amplifier in case of non inverting amplifier if the input signal has positive the amplified output signal is also positive phase and also same in same as true for negative phase and if suppose we given the input signal as negative phase the amplified output signal also negative the expression for the closed loop gain of non inverting amplifier gain equal to 1 plus r2 by r1 here inverting terminal is grounded non inverting terminal is connected to input the applications of operational amplifier one of the application is differentiator a differentiator is an electronic circuit which produces the output is equal to the input this section discusses about the operational based differential amplifier in detail the differential amplifier produces output which is equal to differentiative of input voltage the circuit diagram as shown in the figure here the capacitor used for input capacitance and r will be the feedback resistance here the input signal is connected to inverting terminal then we get the output of differentiator is equal to v not is directly proportional to d by dt of vi in the above circuit the non inverting input terminal of operational amplifier is grounded that means zero volts is applied to its non inverting input terminal according to virtual short concept that means virtual ground the voltage at the inverting input terminal of op amp will be equal to the voltage present at its non inverting input terminal so that the voltage at the inverting input terminal of operational amplifier will be zero volts that's why v not equal to minus rc d by dt of vi here rc is the time constant thus the operational amplifier based on differential circuit as shown in the above will produce an output which is differential of input voltage when the magnitudes and mag impedances of the resistor and capacitor are reciprocal to each other the output voltage v not is having negative sign which indicates that that exist 180 degrees phase shift between input and output voltages here the another application of operational amplifier is integrator an integrator is an electronic circuit that produces output is the applied input the an operational amplifier based on the integrator produces an output which is integral part of inverting input terminal here the circuit diagram shown in the figure here in the circuit the resistor is the input resistor capacitor is the feedback path as the opposite reaction of differentiator in the circuit shown above the non inverting input terminal of the op amp is grounded 
that means 0 volts is applied to its non inverting input terminal according to the virtual short concept that means virtual ground the voltage at the inverting input terminal will be equal to voltage present at its non inverting input terminal so the voltage at inverting input terminal of of op amp will be 0 volts therefore the output voltage will be minus of integral of vi dt so the op amp based on integrator circuit will be produce an output which is integral part of input voltage when the magnitude and impedances of resistor and capacitor are reciprocal to each other the output voltage v0 is having a negative sign which indicates that there exists 180 degrees phase shift between input and output here the another application is summing amplifier summing means addition of inputs an op amp based on adder produced an output is equal to some of the inputs applied to its inverting input terminal this is called summing amplifier the output is an amplified one the circuit diagram of op amp based on the adder as shown in the filo here the input terminals are connected to negative terminal that means inverting input terminal and positive terminal is connected to ground here r1 r2 are the input resistors and RF is the feedback resistor we get output from the 6th terminal in the above circuit non inverting input terminal of the op amp is connected to ground that means 0 volts is applied at its non inverting input terminal according to virtual concept the voltage at the inverting input terminal of op amp is same as that the voltage at non inverting input terminal so the voltage at the inverting input terminal of the op amp will be 0 volts then the output voltage v not equal to minus of v1 plus v2 here we taking off two input voltage that's we get output as minus of v1 plus v2 therefore the op amp based on adder circuit discussed will produce some of the two input voltages like v1 and v2 as the output when all the resistors present in the circuit are the same value the output voltage v0 of an adder circuit having a negative sign this indicates that there exists 180 degrees phase shift between input and output here the an another application is op amp as subtractor a subtractor is an electronic circuit that produces an output while to the difference between applied inputs an op amp based on subtractor produces an output is equal to difference between two input voltages applied at its inverting and non inverting terminals it is called differential amplifier subtractor is also known as a differential amplifier since the output is applied one here the circuit shows both the input terminals are connected to input voltage and the output will get the difference between two input voltages next the parameters of operational amplifier screw rate is the one of the parameter it is defined as the maximum rate of change of voltage per unit of time it is expressed in microseconds screw rate is equal to dv0 by dt here d by dt is change v0 means output voltage t means with respect to time the units are measured in voltage per microsecond screw rate indicates how rapidly the output voltage of an op amp can change response to changes its input frequency it depends upon input frequency to change the screw rate another parameter common mode rejection ratio shortly we can call upon cmrr the common mode rejection ratio is defined as the ratio of differential voltage gain to common mode voltage gain that is cmmr equal to ad by acm ad means differential voltage gain cm means common mode voltage gain another application of operational amplifier is a voltage follower a voltage follower is an electronic circuit designed using operational op amp and has an output voltage is equal to input voltage it is made so far output voltages follows the input voltage 
the input voltage of voltage follower is also referred as buffer amplifier or isolation amplifier or unity gain amplifier since the voltage follower does not amplify the input voltage its voltage gain is unity it is mainly used to provide buffering the circuit here the non inverting terminal is connected to input source and inverting terminal is connected to output voltage here inverting terminal is feedback to the output voltage that's why the input voltage is followed the output voltage then it is called voltage follower what next one voltage to current converter an electronic circuit that takes voltage as the input and produces current that means voltage as the input and which gives the output as current then the circuit is known as voltage to current converter the voltage to current converter is also known as v to i converter an electronic circuit that produces a current which is directly proportional to voltage is known as voltage to current converter here r1 is the input resistor rf is the feedback resistance in the shown in the circuit and non inverting input terminal is connected to the input voltage we get v0 equal to <coughs> i not by r that means voltage will be converted into current form in the voltage to current converter using operational amplifier an input voltage signal is applied at the non inverting input terminal of the operational amp amp while the output current is taken through the output terminal next one logarithmic amplifier the logarithmic amplifier or log amplifier is an electronic circuit that an output voltage is proportional to logarithm of input voltage here the feedback path is connected to inverting input terminal to output voltage here the component is diode in the above circuit the non inverting input terminal of op amp is connected to ground that means zero volts is applied at the non inverting input terminal of operational amplifier according to virtual concept the voltage at the inverting terminal of op amp will be equal to voltage at its non inverting terminal so the voltage at the inverting input terminal will be zero volts here the output voltage is minus of eta vt log of v by r into is the output voltage v not will be proportional to natural logarithm of input voltage vi for fixed value of resistance r1 here the output voltage v not has a negative sign which indicates there exists a 180 degree space shift between input and output voltage